said frondlic adsorption isotherm somewhere it is also pronounced at frondlich so we call it frondlich adsorption isotherm let's check well this particular concept is used for moderate pressure that is intermediate pressure and we know rate of adsorption that is x by m is equal to k p raised to 1 by n where 1 by n is between 0 to 1 okay at low pressure we know rate of adsorption is directly proportional to pressure and at very high pressure rate of adsorption is independent of pressure here we say 1 by n is 1 we know 1 by n value is between 0 to 1 so it's greater than 0 and less than 1 for moderate correct so for moderate if the range is this then for low pressure 1 by n will be 1 and for high pressure 1 by n is 0 If one by n is one means n is one, but if one by n is zero, then n is infinite. So what we conclude for moderate pressure, we always have value of one by n between zero to one. So Fronlich adsorption isotherm equation talks with respect to moderate pressure. Fine. now we check next here we are using this symbol is infinite i repeat 1 by n value is between 0 to 1 which clearly indicates n value is between 1 to infinite correct now we proceed further we are going to verify how frenlich adsorption isotherm equation works well x upon m is proportional to p raised to 1 by n x by m is equal to let's remove proportionality sign and put a constant correct we take log on both the sides and when we take log on both the sides we get log x by m is equal to log k plus log p raised to 1 by n and you know the rule when any power is there in the log it comes out so ultimately it becomes 1 by n log p this is very very important and this equation resembles the equation of straight line y is equal to mx plus c where c is log k y value will be this x value will be from log p and m value will be 1 by n and you know m is a slope correct so we plot a graph of log x by m versus log p we get a straight line not passing through origin then it is going to cut y axis and when we extrapolate this line we get value log k and 1 by n value we get from slope so slope is 1 by n so n is 1 upon slope and this intercept which we said just now is log k value are you registering i repeat 
a graph of log x by m versus log p gives a straight line not going through origin but cutting y axis